All right, this lead code question is called most common word. It says given a paragraph and a list of banned words, return the most frequent word that is not in the list of banned words. It's guaranteed there's at least one word that isn't banned and that the answer is unique. Words in the list of banned words are given in lowercase and free of punctuation. Words in the paragraph are not case sensitive. The answer is in lowercase. So it's basically saying we're going to have a paragraph. The paragraph might be in different cases. So as we see here, ball is all uppercase. Bob here has an uppercase letter. Also, it might have some punctuation we have to ignore, like this comma or the period. And we always have a most common word. So in this example, the word hit appears three times, but it's on the band list, so we can't count it. And the word ball appears twice. And even though it has a different case for both of them, that's the right answer because we have to ignore the case. So ball appears twice, which is more than any other word. So it's the most common word. And it basically restates that a couple different ways down here. All right, so this question could be really easy, but it gives us a couple of curveballs. The first is that we have some strange characters. The second is we have this band list. And the third is sometimes the words could be uppercase, but the band list is always lowercase. Let's take these one by one. All right, so how do we get rid of these extra characters? We can do it using a regular expression, which I'll show you later. But for now, just take my word for it that at the end, what's going to happen is it's going to be split into an array that doesn't have the extra characters. So this is just an array. All right, so the second curveball is that we have this banned list of words. So as we come upon a word, we need to check it against the banned list. We can take each word we come across and check it against each word in the banned list using something like index of. But look how many times we just had to check the word fly against the banned list. For this one word, we just did six different checks. Let's say we go to the next word. Check that against the band list. Okay, that's only one check. But now we go to the next word, the word hit. Check that against the band list. Look at how many checks we're doing again. If we were to do it that way, we'd be doing it n squared times, which is logarithmic time. But is there a way that we could do it in constant time? Yes, there is. So the first thing we would do is we would first add everything in the band list to a set. So we'd loop over everything in the band list and we would just add it to a set. Let's pretend this is a set. The actual addition of each word from the band list to a set is linear time, but after that, every lookup will just be constant time. So at this point, it would look like this. Up top, we see an array of our list of words, and we've successfully gotten rid of all the extra characters like commas and exclamation points, and at the bottom, we have a set. So now all we have to do is loop over our array of words and check if each word is in the set. As we're doing that though, we just have to make sure to make the word lowercase because we know that every word in the band list is also lowercase. So that would look like this. The first word is the word fly. I'm not going to show you the method because it's just a built-in method, but here it is down here, lowercase. What we need to do with that is add it to some sort of a hash map, which keeps track of the word and how many times we've seen it. So right now, we've seen the word fly one time. Also, since we don't yet have a common word, we can just make the default common word 
the first word we just saw, which is the word fly. And if any word after that has a higher count than the word fly, we'll just replace the most common word with whatever word that is. All right, so let's go to the second word, the word man. Is that in the band list? Yes, it is, so we just skip it. Now we're on the word hit. Is that on the band list? No, it's not. Is it in our hash map? No, it's not. So we just add it with a frequency of one because it's the first time we've seen it. Next is the word A or letter A. Is that in the band list? No, it's not. Is it in our hash map? No, it's not. So we add it with a frequency of one. And remember that each time we're adding one of these words to the hash map, we're also checking if the frequency of that word is more than the frequency of our most common word. All right, so now we go on to the next word, fly again. Is that in the band list? No, it's not. Is it in our map? Yes, it is. So we'll just increment its frequency by one because we've seen it one more time. So we have a total frequency so far of the word fly of two. All right, now we get to the last word, the word man again. Is that in our band list? Yes, it is. So now we're done. And now we know that our most common word is the word fly, which just happens to be the first word that was in our list. All right, let's get to the code. What lead code has given us is a function called most common word, which accepts a paragraph and a list of band words. So remember, the first thing we have to do is we have to create a map of all the valid words and their frequencies. So we'll say let valid word frequency equals, and in this case, we'll just make it an object for simplicity. Also, we have to create a set. This will ensure that our lookups of the band words is done in constant time. So we'll just initialize that to an empty set. So let band words equal an empty set. And we have to keep track of our most common word. So we'll say let most common equal an empty string. We'll initialize it to that. All right, so the first complicated thing we have to do is we have to convert our paragraph, which could have extra characters, like let's say this has a period at the end also, into an array that doesn't have any of those extra characters. We can do that with a regular expression. So we say let words equals paragraph.split Split in JavaScript just splits a string based on the criteria we put into it. So we're going to split it based on this regular expression. All right, so regular expressions are not a part of this video, but if you want to learn more, you can always look that up. Okay, so at this point, we would look like this. Our paragraph is now split into an array. That looks like this. All right, so the next step is to add the band words to a set so that our lookups are in constant time. So we'll say for let word of band, so let each word in our band list, we're gonna loop over it and add it to the set. So band words dot add each word. Okay, so let's pretend this is a set. So it'll be the word man, X, Y, Z, C, and B. Now we'll just loop over each word in our words array. And remember the words array is just the words from the paragraph after we've stripped out unnecessary punctuation like commas and periods and exclamation marks. So for 
let word of words. And the word might not necessarily be lowercase, but it needs to be since the band word list is all in lowercase. So we'll just make each word lowercase. So let lowercase word equal word dot to lowercase. All right, so the first word is the word fly, all in lowercase. So we're gonna check, is this a band word? So we'll say if the band word list, so if band words doesn't have this word, then we can keep going. So if it's not a band word, what else do we need to check? We need to check if it's in our hash map. So if valid word frequency of this lowercase word equals undefined. Again, that's saying if our hash map does not have this word, then what do we need to do? We need to add it to our hash map. So valid word frequency of this word equals zero. So we're always gonna add it with a frequency of zero because in the next step, we're always gonna increment that frequency. So all line 21 is really doing is initializing it with the value of zero. All right, so at this point, let's pretend this is our hash map. We have fly in there with a frequency of zero, and now we're just gonna increment it. So valid word frequency, lowercase word, plus plus. So it immediately gets incremented to one, which is the frequency. All right, but remember the whole point of this is we're trying to find the most common word. Right now, the most common word is just an empty string. So what we'll do is since it's just an empty string, we'll just make this first word be the most common word. And if later on we find a more common word, we'll just replace this with that most common word. So if most common is an empty string, like it is now, we'll just make the most common word equal to this first word. All right, so most common equals fly. All right, so we're almost to the end of our code, but let's just finish this loop up so I can show you exactly what happens. We're now on the word man, which is the second element in our array. Line 20 checks to see if that's a banned word. Yes, it is, so we move on to the next word, which is the word hit. We check if that's a banned word. No, it's not. So then we check to see if we've included that in the map yet. No, we haven't. So hit will initially be zero, but the next line increments it to one. But now we need to check to see if the frequency of this word is more than the frequency of our most common word, because if it is, we have to make this our most common word. All right, so we'll check if the frequency of the word we're on, so valid word frequency of the word we're on is greater than the frequency of the most common word. So valid word frequency, let me move this up a little bit, of most common. Misspelled the word valid. All right, so is the frequency of the word hit greater than the frequency of the word fly? No, it's not, they have the same frequency. 
So we'll just keep our most common word as the word fly. All right, next word, we're on the word A. Is that a banned word? No, it's not. Is it in the map? No, it's not. So we'll add it. Initially, it has a frequency of zero, but then it updates to one. Next word is the word fly again. Is that a banned word? No, it's not. Is that in our map? Yes, it is. So we'll update that to a frequency of two. That's what happens on line 25. And finally, we're on the word man. Is that a banned word? Yes, it is. So now we're done going through our loop. So at the very end, we see that our most common word is the word fly. And all there's left to do is to return that. So we'll just return most common. All right, let's run the code, see how we did. Oops, I have to make that a new set. Do it again. All right, accepted, submit. All right, so our code was faster than about 87% of other JavaScript submissions. As usual, the code and written explanation are linked down below. If you like the video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. It helps out a lot. See you next time.